different. Have you ever been to Toy Fair? Yes, I have. You know, here's a real funny quick story. Yep. I used to work at Toy Fair. I used to be one of the actors who oh, did, really? who I like, I had to play, um, I had to play Polly. Remember the Polly dolls? I like to go fast, Polly. I used to play her at Toy Fair. Anyway, go on. Well, so there, that's where they introduce all the new toys each year. Whoa! And it, Toy Fair happens in February every year, and there are thousands of new toys you'll go see every year. Flight is so incredibly popular right now. Tons and tons of flight. But what you don't find, flight for young kids. No, because it's too hard. It's too usually right. dangerous or what complicated. What inevitably happens, you get a flight toy, kids turn it on, press the trigger, it flies right up to the ceiling, breaks, falls right down, and it's done. Well, this is a great first flight toy for ages three and up. Three and up, really. Right, and can you believe that? And this is a one button, pressure sensitive remote. So if I let go slightly of the remote, the propellers will slow down and it will start to fall right into my hands. And this is foam. It's squeezable. So you can squeeze this. It's very easy. Look at these two propellers on top. No pain, nothing. That's it's very why simple. it can be so rated for worry about a three year old. Kids. These propellers, they're squeak. Look how squishy they are. Very simple. Um, and we even have it labeled on top to let you know which one goes on which side because it does matter. Um, so it's foolproof, it's parent proof, it's child proof. It's so fun! <laughs> you can do different tricks with it up and down. Like you just let it go a little bit and then up and down. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> I, I really am possibly a three year old at heart. Yeah. Wait, wait, which one? Astronaut or astronaut, dinosaur? And you have the dinosaur. There are just a couple of dino movies out right now that are really just a popular. Few. Yeah. Well, so. and there's that new ABC show about astronauts, The Astronaut's yep. Wife. Oh, and there's a new uh, kind of space movie that'll be coming out in the Christmas time as well. So, yeah. yeah. So if you want to uh, find something that's movie themed, you have your choice here. Again, super easy. If I let go of the remote, it would drop, but because it's tethered, it's not going to drop that far. And even if it were to drop to the floor, you don't have to worry about it. I'll let go and it'll drop, it'll crash. And it's ready to go, and it's just laying here on the floor. But if I press the button, it's going to take off. You see, it's going to pick itself right up. That's so cool. I didn't have to do anything. It just picked itself right up. The other up. thing is, it's all connected. So, yes. uh, how many times have you reached into a toy box with your kids, and you're trying to find the pieces, the <laughs> propeller? Like, how do I? <laughs> like, where is this? Where's the control for this? Yep. Everything's right here together, so you don't have to worry about it. And there's no nobody gets hurt. I mean, you just—it's great. You can see them playing. Well, and most light toys, especially ones that are as light as these, you couldn't take them outside. But because they're tethered, uh, you don't have to work the wind taking it away. And oh, that's true. Yeah, you, you can't do that with most flight toys. So this one you actually can take inside and outside because this time of year, if you're buying this to give now, then you know you got to be able to take stuff outside with kids. And this is something you don't have to worry about. You can take it outside and play, inside or out. And the under $20 price point for a toy makes me very happy. Yes. Again, it's foam. I can mark on this table. I don't have to worry about make, making any marks. You're not going to mark up your walls. Um, bendable propellers. You don't have to worry about them hurting children. You don't have to worry about them breaking. You don't have to worry about them scratching up your floors when they hit the floors. Or if for whatever reason you have a ceiling that's low, so you don't have to yeah. worry about them doing and that And I thought well. we have our playroom slash yeah. workout room <laughs> slash guest room. We have a small house. <laughs> Is downstairs like in the, it's also slash mud room and it's a low ceiling. So this would be great because it doesn't go too high. You're tethered to that. Mine wants to go that way. But the air, well, the air will pull. That's the great thing about being tethered. <laughs> oh, if this wasn't was tethered, it would just be taking off. So, you know, and again, you said you have a small home. So you're looking for toys that might save space. Well, I don't have to say much else beyond that, right? So, <laughs> <This> is... <laughs> again, I don't have to worry about the wire. It doesn't, it's not gonna get caught no, in this. Doesn't. It's not gonna get tangled. It's so easy to use. One of the reasons people ask me sometimes, well, why is this toy for ages five or six when my three-year-old can play with it? Well, your three-year-old might not get injured with it necessarily, but your three-year-old may not be able to use it. And if they can't use it and understand how to use it, they're gonna get frustrated. And right. when you find something that's learning appropriate, that's age appropriate, you can't go wrong with this. The three-year-old's gonna be able to pick it up and the three-year-old's gonna be able to fly it. Right, and it's going to feel successful. It's gonna walk exactly. around the house and say, look what I can do, Mom, look what I can do. Exactly what you want. And it's $19.98. It would be a lot more if you went to retail or you tried to find it here at QVC other than during the Christmas and July sale. The sale here does go away eventually. In fact, at the end of July, you will not see Christmas and July prices anymore. And yep. while we have Christmas and July, you have until January 31st, 2016, to return everything you see 
during our Christmas in July. So in case they don't love it, come Christmas time, or you know what, you might be getting these as, as gifts, birthday gifts, um, what, back to school gifts, whatever it might be, a Tuesday gift. I like to hide yep. little things as well, and then if it's a rainy day and my kids are, at my, my, new, my daughter's new favorite word, I'm bored, bored, oh. I'm like, that word. <laughs> We've had a lot of those rainy days too, so there's even more reason to use it. Yeah. Well, yeah. if you're always looking for something to do, these are one of these toys you can just pull out on the fly, play. Yeah. Literally on the fly. Exactly. Literally on the. My director's like, yeah, bored is a dirty word <laughs> for the kids. It's true. Yeah. On the fly. Mickey's funny. He makes up. He makes up. Yeah, makes uh, up words. words yep. And he makes jokes. So, <laughs> 1998 though is another, is another great, and it's boys and girls. So if you want to get a couple of these and put them back in the box for when you have the birthday, last minute birthdays that the kids have to go to, this is great for them as well. T32340, that's the astronaut. Yep. If you're looking to, uh, for some Dino. competition, you can try to learn how to land it. Oh, just ooh, like that. I should try that. Wait, let me get him. Because it's pressure sensitive. So if I pull the trigger, it's going to take off of it because it's tethered. I don't have to worry about where it's going to go. It can only go so far. We've got about two feet of room right here with the tether, so it's, it does have some room. And again, it's pressure sensitive. So as I let go of the trigger, it's going to start floating down gently. And it'll land in my hand. Yeah. I'm going to try and land him. Oh, look at me. Not oh, bad. oh, oh, oh. Ages. Look, <laughs> flies that right at me. But Watch your head again, there. it's not getting tangled. And if I grab the propellers, it's not going to hurt. Just like that. Very simple. I'm, I'm taking my, my dinosaur for a walk. <laughs> take... <laughs> That's what I'm doing. If oh! you're bored. Three. You're bored. I'm, take, I'm three. Take I'm, the dino for a walk. I'm actually three in, inside. <laughs> Mickey, thank you. We're going to see him again. Speaking of walks, that's what I do with this next girl who's coming up. By the way, Christmas in July, the sale continues. We've got another half hour of great toys. My good friend and walking buddy, Miss Rachel Bozine, has a look at our today's special value. Mwah! Hey, you know.